it would just be lovely to sit and read for on like a nice slow day with a hot drink and a biscuit or something and it would just be lovely to flick through these. Hello my loves and thank you for joining me. It's Kirsten and today we are going to Yalk. Yalk is the young adult literature convention. It happens once a year and I went for the first time last year and I was a bit hesitant. The first time I went I wasn't sure if I would enjoy it. I do enjoy young adult but I don't read loads of it but it's so good. It is a great time. I had an amazing time last year when I went and as much as last year was in summer so it was really nice and warm and this year it's in winter. It's paired with winter comic-con as well so that's always fun because it pairs it with comic-con so you can turn it into like a bigger day but yeah so I wasn't sure if I would want to go because young adult is something that I like to read like mysteries and thrillers to break up some of the other stuff I read but typically it's not a genre I go to and so I don't really know what's out and about for young adult books like I really don't know and so going to this event is great for that because I get to come across loads of different books that I hadn't heard about that sound really good there's lots of things going on there's lots of activities there's lots of different talks that you can take part in or well listen in on there's workshops that you can do like there is a lot going on and it's across two days it was really really fun last time so I knew I wanted to come again when it came around and I have been looking forward to it ever since and I really really thought I was going to be buying loads of books but if you've seen my previous vlogs you'd know that I've actually hurt my back so I cannot go buy him as many books as I normally would <laughs> which is a shame last year I went on Sunday and because it was the last day they were trying to get rid of a lot of their books so a lot of things were really really reduced this year I'm going on Saturday spoiler I've already been I was up really early and I didn't want to start this vlog and wake everyone up when it's a Saturday and they all want to have a nice lion because they're not at work I went I've come back, I'm now doing the intro, and once you've seen all the b-roll of everything, then I will talk to you about everything that I got, because of course I did get some things. Should I have? Probably not, because you know, I have hurt my back. And I went to my physiotherapist yesterday. I have tape on my back, across my shoulders, um, and I've got like stretches and things to do, and I was told, don't do any heavy lifting, don't do this, that, and the other. And what do I do? All the things that I shouldn't be doing. But it's fine. I've got a few days off work. It was worth it. To be fair, I was very conservative. I didn't go out of my way buying anywhere near as much as I wanted to. I did it more as a research to see what's coming out because that's what that's one thing that I loved last year about Yalk and this year is you have the different publishers and they're showing off all the books that are going to be coming out, which is amazing. So you can see all of the new releases that are coming up in the next few months. You can also see some of the books that have just come out. It's great. And a lot of the time the publishers there I mean obviously I went on Saturday this time it wasn't as cheap as Sunday but it meant that there were some things there that would have been sold out by Sunday and it was still cheaper than retail price so it was really good I had a great time got to meet a few people as well which was absolutely amazing and yeah overall just had a great time just like last time do I prefer what day do I prefer going Saturday or Sunday I don't really know I feel like Saturday was fun because you got to see all of like the stock fresh it started at nine and I was in at half past nine. So I got to see everything and by the end when I was leaving, some of the stuff was already selling out. So it was really fun to see that side of things. I think both, both are good. <laughs> but I did leave about half past two. So I spent the whole morning there. I had brought lunch with me. So saved money on food, which meant I could spend more money on book. That seemed like a win to me. Let's get into all the B-roll so you can see what I actually got up to because I did do the top area first. So the actual Yelk bit, I did the top area and then you go downstairs and you've got comic-con downstairs if you want to it always feels like a little bit small at yelk but at the same time it's really nice already got publishers there you also had illumicrate and fairy loot a few other bookish subscription boxes that i hadn't heard of and some of them were like supporting other indie authors and i thought that was really cool they also have an artist alley at the same time as the yelk bit as well as obviously downstairs with the artists of comic-con and i like the fact that as part of yelk you have a quiet area which was perfect to sit and eat lunch and I read a book which is my Kindle. I took my Kindle with me. I'm loving the book that I'm reading on this at the minute. I'm not sure when this is coming out compared to the weekly vlog. I picked up The Very Secret Society of Witches and I'm loving this book. Reading this while I was eating my lunch and it was just a really nice time but okay I keep waffling. Let's cut to the b-roll so you can have a little look at what we got up to and it was just it was just so good. I really
Okay, so like I said, I did buy some stuff. We have this bag and this bag. Let's just get straight into it. Now, a lot of the stuff there, if you're ever gonna go to Yelp, I would always advise bringing a tote bag, even if you plan to buy no book. There is so much stuff that's given away for free that I would still recommend bringing a bag. Although saying that, they were giving away this bag for free. A few different like publishers and that will give away different things. A lot of the time there's loads of bookmarks to be given away, lots of other things. But one of them was doing a tote bag, which was great because I had a few books in hand and they were like, do you want a tote bag? I was like, yeah, okay. And they just kind of gave it to you. They're like, we're giving them away, so have fun. Anyway, that's a tangent you didn't need. Let's get on with, let's start with the bits I picked up in Comic-Con actually, which isn't much. I, I do like Comic-Con, I feel like it was a much smaller event. So the ones paired with Yelp are much, much smaller events. It's not MCM related. It's just its own smaller winter Comic Con. One of the things I got isn't even for me. It's for my sister. And it's this little like mirror hanging ornament. I thought it was really cool. But this is finishing off her boo box. Which, yes, it's after Halloween, but we're exchanging our boo boxes tomorrow. So I thought actually while I'm there I can have a look and see if there's anything last minute and I think this is really cool and I think she would like it to like decorate her room. I mean I like it so yes we got that. And then I got books which I wasn't expecting to do from the Comic Con part but I got six fairy books. So let me take them out of the wrapping so you can actually see them. They were selling these at six pounds each or then he said look I've got six of them if you want all six I'll do them for 25 pounds and I was like sounds pretty good to me and it is flower fairies. I've got different ones. Flower fairies of the spring, summer, autumn, winter, trees, garden, wayside, alphabet. So there's eight. I've only got six. I think I'm missing summer and winter. Oh no, I've got summer. I know I'm missing winter. Oh, so it must be spring and winter I'm missing. But yeah, this is absolutely lovely. They're just honestly gorgeous illustrations with little poems. And I just think they're absolutely stunning. Yeah, I don't know. Something just really captured me about these. And I was like, they're so lovely. I don't know. I just, I didn't want to leave them behind. They're just really, really lovely. And I love the artwork in them. This one is Flower Fairies of the Garden. You know, they're just so beautifully done. Like, I, I really, really love them. They're so beautiful. I was flicking through them when I was eating my lunch. Like This one is Flower Fairies of the Wayside. Each one talks about different nature and it has a little poem for different nature that you see around either that time of year or like things that you find in your garden. And I think that's lovely. Like it's a way to be informative, but also beautiful writing and gorgeous illustrations. And this one's the alphabet. The E, we've got I Bright Fairy. Fuchsia, we've got L for Lily of the Valley. O for Orcus, like there's this beautiful, they're absolutely lovely. See how beautiful they are? This is the one that caught my eye. This was Autumn and I was just going to get this one on its own. I wasn't going to get the others and that's when he said, look, if you get all of them, I'll do it for this price and I was like, okay, fine. It looks absolutely gorgeous and I just think they're so lovely. Like you've got the song of the acorn fairy and like there's little bits in brackets underneath. It's like a little commentary on the poem. And then the last one is the one of trees. And I just, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the artwork. There was just something about them that I just did not want to leave behind. It was just beautiful. So like the brackets in this one explains about the labranum, which has pods with what look like tiny green peas in them, but it is best not to play with them and they must never, never be eaten as they are poisonous. So it gives you like little information about it. I've actually seen one of these trees. I went to Poison Gardens, I think it was a couple years ago now, and we saw one of those trees. Honestly, beautiful tree. Now I'm going to have to try and find the last two that I don't have. Plus, I think even just like aesthetically, these are beautiful. It would be great to have like little displays of these. It would just be lovely to sit and read for like a nice slow day with a hot drink and a biscuit or something. And it would just be lovely to flick through these. So yeah, I actually have a few plans for these. I've been thinking about it since I got them. Like I was just intrigued with the autumn one and then they were kind of like an impulse buy and I was thinking, this is really silly. Why did I get these? And then I was thinking about the fact that I just, I feel so content with them. Actually, these would make some really nice slow day romanticize my life videos which I was talking to everyone on the discord about only last night was it last night or the night before I would like to do more of these videos and talking about different video ideas and stuff as I do on there and these 
I think these would work perfectly for that. So yeah, really, really happy with these. I think they're absolutely lovely. You'll have to let me know if you've ever read them or seen them or something. I feel like they're really reminiscent. I feel like I must have either seen these when I was younger or something. Anyway, right, that was Comic-Con. And then we have the Yelk bit. So let's get into this. Got lots of random free things. Sorry about the lighting. It is, well, it's an English cold day. It, it, it the lighting is all over the place but yeah they do lots of random free things like these are tattoos i might see if i can use them as like stickers in my planner or something we'll see i got a bookmark and this was from the book box which is exclusive editions of indie fantasy book and a monthly read along and that is the butterfly book club and honestly their editions looked absolutely stunning also got a couple of stickers for free free stickers I'm always gonna have because I love journaling and this one says forever is a blessing and a curse also got some love hearts because why not this is what I'm talking about of like free things that you get so these are uncorrected samples for books that are going to be coming out so you can give them a try see if you like them if you do you can keep them on your radar I love ideas like this I think they're really handy and I do give them a read through to decide okay I'm interested in this I'm not interested in that one I think it's really helpful. I also won a book, it's an art. This is the uncorrected proof copy. This is out in April and this is Not Like Other Girls by Miradif Adamo. It says here, Jo was the perfect popular high school girl until nude photos of her were shared online. Now she's failing in class, her friends have deserted her, her admirers turn their backs, she's become an outcast. Then her former friend Maddie disappears. Everyone says she's a runaway. Joe is not convinced. As she searches for the truth, she uncovers disturbing revelations about their classmate and her own past. How does Joe know whose story to believe? It's hard enough to figure out her own. Sounds really interesting. I mean, it sounds like all the things that I like, to be fair. I always like a bit of a mystery. I've not had an uncorrected proof before, so it was quite fun to win this. There was loads of like wheel things, so you could just spin the wheel and whatever it landed on, that's what you were getting for free, which was really fun. Speaking of, I also got another arc which I won and this one is a dark academia one now there's nothing on the back to say what this book is about it just says warning reader approach this book with caution the story inside these pages is darker and more dangerous than you might imagine and the price for the truth is deadly look at that cover that is absolutely stunning it says hell is empty all the devils are here going to be published in September all the devils by Caitlin Wilson so I, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Oh, okay, we have we have a bit more here. Hang on. My name is Andy, and on the day of my sister Violet's funeral, I discovered she wasn't dead. Violet is alive, and I need to find her. I'll do anything to unlock the truth, even enrolling at Ravenswood Academy, Violet's elite boarding school, to discover what really happened there. In the pages of this book, you'll find secret societies, ancient magic, demons, and monsters, all leading to the truth. Will you join me to find out what happened to my sister and bring her home? Sounds really good. There was a few arcs that you could choose between. This cover really captured me, so I'm very excited about that. And there's also like loads of giveaways that you can enter to try and win other arcs and proof copies, which is really fun. I also got a sampler of House of Ash and Shadow by Leah Stone. I mean, it's a sampler. We're going to try it, see if I like it, if I'm interested. It will go on to my anticipated releases video for whenever that one is due out. I got another bookmark, which this one is The City of Stardust. Curses are meant to be broken. I also won a pin. And I got a sampler for Sunbring Out by Hannah Kenner, which is the second book to God Killer, which I am very excited about. So I was really pleased to see that. Okay, I've got three books that I actually purchased. They were doing books for six pounds each or three for 12 pounds. So basically get a book for free. Who doesn't love a free book? The first one that initially caught my attention is Lips Touch by Lani Taylor. Now I really like Lani Taylor. She's the person that did the Strange the Dreamer duology. She's also done a young adult trilogy it's really good I haven't read it in ages Daughter of Smoke and Bone really good trilogy I haven't read that in absolutely years and this is a short story collection from Lani Taylor and this short story collection is three stories about the deliciousness of wanting and waiting for that moment when lips touch it sounds really good I don't know I was really intrigued and the illustrations like I showed you in the b-roll but the illustrations are 
beautiful. I thought why not? I wasn't getting many books and I thought you know what I can get at least one. At this point I had one this one but I hadn't had anything else and so I thought oh it's fine. Then as I was pay going to pay for that one I then saw these and I was like all right maybe I'll just do the three for 12. One is Only a Monster and that's by Vanessa Lem. This is a book I had my eye on when it came out in hardback but just waited for paperback like I do sometimes. In every story there is a hero and a monster. It should have been the perfect summer, sent to stay with her eccentric family in London. Joan is determined to enjoy herself. She loves her job at the historic Holland house and when her co-worker Nick asks her on a date, it feels like everything has fallen into place. Then Joan learns the truth. Her family aren't just eccentric, they're monsters with terrifying hidden powers. And Nick isn't just a cute boy, he's a legendary monster slayer who will do anything to bring them down. To save herself and her family, Joan will have to do what she fears most. Embrace her own monstrousness, because in this story, she is not the hero. Sounds really good, and like I say, it did pique my interest when I first saw it. And then the third book that I got, that I thought, oh well, okay, I'm gonna, might as well get all three. The Very Secret Society of Witches, and this is by Sangu Madena. I am enjoying this so, so much. I was reading it on Kindle, it's on Kindle Unlimited actually, so it was free for me. As I was reading it, I was like, oh, I really am enjoying this. Maybe I'll pick up a copy eventually, because I could definitely annotate it and have fun with it. Then I saw it there, and I was like, well, if I'm getting it for free, then I might as well. I'm just having so much fun with this book. I'm actually up to chapter 11? Is it of chapter 11? Or maybe a little bit later in. Yeah, no, I think I'm up to chapter 12 now because I read a bit more on the train. Regardless, I am having so much fun with this book. It is so heartwarming and lovely. If I had stayed longer, there was a author sign-in for this book, but to be honest, at this point, I was really tired. My back was starting to hurt and I was like, I'm just gonna go home because I haven't even finished this book. As much as I do like a signed book, I'm also not too bothered about them. I'm pleased I picked this one up though. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's gonna be so good. I can't wait to finish that book. And then I got a couple more random free things. One of them is Old Wounds, which is another sampler for a book that's going to come out. This is a young adult horror that's due out in October. I do like young adult horror. I find it quite interesting. I think they can be done really well. I also won another pin. Another sampler. I've done something bad and this comes out in February. I got the tote bag. Oh wait, there's something else in the tote bag. I got another pin for free. Lots of pins. That's one thing I found. Lots of pins, lots of bookmarks, lots of samplers. There is so much there that you can get for free. So I've got two books for free. So you literally can go there and not spend anything. However, you're probably going to want to buy something because, well, it's book. Why wouldn't you? I have a couple of other things. Oh, I won some bookmarks from Fairy Loot. These are Red Rising foiled bookmark. I have not read Red Rising, but I've heard it's a very popular book. I've got no idea. Ooh. Got no idea who any of these people are. They look, they're very nice bookmarks regardless. I mean, two minds whether I want to read Red Rising, to be honest, because I've heard some mixed things. Abby said that she wasn't really that impressed with it and kind of didn't bother continuing on with the series. Becca loves it, absolutely adores the series, thinks it's fantastic. But then a couple of other people I watched have been a bit like, eh, it was okay. So I don't know because it's like a six book long series or is it seven? Because it's a trilogy, three, and then you've got a follow up quarter so yeah seven books and I don't know that's a lot to commit to and then lastly I got a few little like stickers and things because of course I did one I just really love this postcard and what I want to do in my room is I've got lots of like postcards and things that I pick up and I kind of want to like put them around my bed interspaced with pictures and frames and stuff so this was really nice I really like it this one is for the shop tales and tomes where I got these stickers from and they had some amazing little cups as well I was very tempted but I have lots of cups in this room that just store lots of bookmarks in I didn't need another one although I was very tempted but I got three little stickers so we have the first one that caught my eye this little cute pumpkin bookshop how adorable is that I absolutely love it it was gorgeous I also got a gingerbread bookshop because why not I'm kind of wishing I used these in my book journal for December because that was absolutely adorable also got this villain appreciation sticker which is so cool. I love that. My camera battery is flashing at me. I'm almost done. Give me two seconds. Okay, we're back. So the last bit, what is this? I showed that. Is more stickers, but also a mirror. I've lost my one, and this is so adorable. Like, 
how beautiful is that just like pumpkins and autumn flowers gorgeous absolutely love this and then i got a bunch of stickers as well and this artist I'll try and have everyone linked below is tea and draws it but yeah i got lots of like little stickers that were available so i got this pumpkins which are cute and yes i know we're kind of going into winter but i just i love autumn things so how could i say no then have this animal crossing one oh perfect considering i'm just getting back into my animal crossing era and then i've got two more which are mushrooms so i have this little mushroom with a snail on and a mushroom and a little jumper. I honestly have so many mushroom stickers, it's ridiculous. But there we are, that is everything I got. I am very excited with all of it, which to be fair, I think I did pretty good only getting five books from Yao and then the flower fairies, but I feel like that's slightly different. I don't know why, but that's the way I'm justifying it. But yeah, so I got five books, which is very conservative because last time I got so many, it was ridiculous. And I was very, very tempted to get a lot more, but I was good i just took pictures of them all and i will get around to them eventually because that was another thing i was thinking i have so many books on my shelves like we're at the point where with these five being added to my shelves i'm now sitting at like 140 books unread and i keep saying to myself i'm gonna get it down and i won't buy anything and then i get excited i don't think it's ever really going to go down in numbers thinking about it some of the books if I'm not going to be reading them straight away that's why I don't want to be going out of my way and buying loads obviously a winning sum doesn't count winning gifts and like book boxes none of that counts and then the other three that I actually bought well one I got for free anyway so that doesn't count and the other two I was interested in and I will read eventually that's the way we justify it around here anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it was basically just a book and stick a haul with a bit of b-roll of what I got up to but it was a really really fun day do enjoy going I will go probably every year it's so fun it's a nice way to kind of meet other people people that you see through the internet that you can actually you know meet them in person like I got to meet Ashley from a frolic through fiction I got to say hello to her also Cody and it was just really nice to be able to meet these people people that I watch all their videos like I interact with them online to then be able to see them in person like it's lovely I love the environment of it Every Everyone is always really friendly and it's really nice just to strike up a conversation with people and just start talking about the books that you're enjoying because let's face it everyone's going there because they like books. I feel like there isn't always loads of events for that and so it's really nice that we get this one that we can go to but yeah anyway that's a whole tangent thank you so much for watching you'll have to let me know if you have bookish events like this that you like going to any of the books that i did get that sound interesting to you you have to let me know but yeah okay i'm gonna stop talking i hope you've enjoyed this video and coming along with me to yalk it's a really fun day but yeah i think i'm gonna go do a hot drink i think for today let's put a shopping bag emoji because i did do a little bit of buy-in and we will leave it there so thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it that thumbs up, subscribe and comment. Those three things really help this channel grow. My social media links and anyone I've mentioned will all be linked below. And I will, of course, catch you in the very next video.